My name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. For this video, Robert Guerrero and I are going to head to the Drummondville, Quebec skate park so you can try on, skate, give us first impressions of, and then review the USD Aeon 60 Nick Lomax Aggressive Inline Skate. In a video I just recently posted, Robert and I unbox these skates and we give our first impressions of how they felt in our hands and what we thought about them straight out of the box. I have a link to that video right up here in the corner for you to check out. I'm really excited about today. I want to see how these skates fit on Robert, how he's going to like them. I know he skated Aeons in the past, but he skated them too small. So I hope you find this video useful. If you enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't ready, hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. I have links to my social media as well as Robert's social media in the description below. I have links to my Patreon page and a PayPal donation page if you want to support this channel. Let's head over to the skate park and see what Robert thinks about these skates. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm really excited actually to put these on. This will be the first time trying these skates in the appropriate size. Wow. The first feeling is just how much space there is and that feels really good, but there's a tightness, so that's nice. They're tight, but they're not tight like they hurt, which is the experience that I really want right now. <laughs> this actually feels more snug than the medium-sized thems on my foot. My foot is really wide and my middle toe on my foot sticks out further than all the other toes. And so far I don't feel any hurting pressure. I also need to think I need to figure out how this was working because it's, I just tightened it and the pressure's kind of tight on the top of the arch of my foot. And I don't think I like that so much. Like, like I'm not feeling it clamp down here mm -hmm. and this is where I want it to, you know, okay. clamp. So it brings my foot uh, snug in the back uh -huh. and I'm not feeling that with this uh, hook. So I'm not going to hook it. I'm just going to tighten it really tight here, which it's giving me a good, I'm tightening really tight and it's feeling good and snug there. They're actually really nice laces too, which is good. If you're going to have laces on your skates, then you want to make sure that they're the highest quality. And I'm going to, I'm going to tighten these laces as well because I, I really love the snug feeling on skates and I feel like I have to have it. This kind of like oneness uh, of the skate on your foot. Mm -hmm. I don't like to feel any kind of separation. Okay. I don't know how tight I'm actually going to want this. My first reaction is like, I feel like they're, like this needs to be here. Mm -hmm. So I can feel more, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, tightness. Right, Here, I feel like, like a strap I, would be better. I don't, yeah, I think a strap would be better actually. I don't feel as snug as I could be. This cuff is very different than any cuff I've skated on a skate. We'll see. You know, these are all just my first thoughts. It's nice to feel this width on the, on this area of the foot. I don't know what this is, part of the foot is called, mm -hmm. um, but my feet are really wide. So a lot of times I've felt the skate like crunching my foot in like that. And with these, my foot's able to sit completely flat and spread out, which is how my foot should actually be working instead of like getting crunched, like crunched in and yeah. So anybody, anybody watching this right now, don't do that to your feet. If you are doing it to your feet, don't do it to your feet. It's not until you get older that you feel the long-term effects of your actions. <laughs> And I'm not even at an age where I think I'm feeling the long-term effects of crunching my feet into plastic boots for so many years of my life, almost half or more than half. So really connect to your foot and don't force it 
into situations that it doesn't feel comfortable. So like, how do those feel co compared to your forced 60 millimeter ones you had before? Like a world of a difference. Like my feet feel like they can actually like breathe and there's no pain. Like I don't feel any pain. And I've been in such a rhythm of every time I put new skates on, there's at least a couple weeks of pain that sucks. I'm really liking these laces. Um, and right here, like I was explaining how I think a strap would be better for me. I'm able to get the, the, the tightness I'm looking for by really tightening down the laces right here. But the liners are really comfortable so far. They're pretty flexy right here. Like they're kind of bowing out. You can kind of even see like right there. That, mm -hmm. But they were like that before I even put them on. So I might need to tighten that a little more, to be honest. Because it's, it's getting a lot of flex. The cuff itself actually feels really uh, loose. Yeah, there's like... I don't know, you can see there's like a lot of space there. Mm -hmm. And so I'll try to, I mean, it doesn't feel like it really makes it any tighter, but we'll see. I feel the difference in the heel actually, the, the raise, the, mm -hmm. raise the, heel lift? the heel, yeah, yeah, the heel lift, which is something normally I can get used to. Wow, they're, I feel these to be more responsive immediately. My feet feel more, like I said, they feel more enclosed mm -hmm. in the boot in comparison to the way my foot is feeling in the medium then. Like okay. there feel like too much space there, but mm -hmm. here I feel like I have more control and they're more one in regards to how they're tightening on my feet. That's my like first. They're more responsive. Like I can feel like I can use my toes more to uh, control. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's really good actually. Whoa, but the heel lift, I'm definitely feeling more uh, forward. Mm -hmm. Like a lot more forward. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I'll like, like the heel lift. Wow. No, oh, these are nice. But the heel lift is definitely a big change that I can feel the difference like in the way my like knees and my muscles are supporting my legs. So immediately I already feel comfortable in these. And I think it's because my body remembers how the Aeon skates, but this time it's completely different because my feet aren't crunched. Like my feet are probably working the way they are supposed to be working in this boot. And now they're kind of like free to do that, but still remember some of the things that I liked about the older Aeons that I skated that were too tight. So I already feel like I have more control and I feel like I have more confidence. I really can just feel the to my toes and the balls of my feet more active um like and they feel really light like i want to go fast i feel more one with these with these boots uh with my foot and you know a lot of us have like funky shaped feet and we really have to test out like as many things as possible to find what's best for our feet. But in this moment, these are feeling incredible on my feet. With the hooks, I think I wanna get into trying that. Right now, I'm okay with it the way they are, but I think a strap would really complete the fit for mm -hmm. me right now. But they feel great. And they slide good, everything here is waxed also. <laughs> but one thing I used to like about these skates is the plastic is really good. 
This, the plastic slides really fast. Yeah, you slid off that real quick. I was also going pretty fast. <laughs> skating fast is fun. <laughs> <laughs> these feel really good so far i mean i've only been skating them for like five minutes but i'm excited to try more things with them and now we got to do all my first grinds to see how it's going to work oh my god that switched so that's why that's okay. <laughs> skating anti-rocker but skating flat so that's really cool so I haven't skated fast in a long time and it feels really good to do that <laughs> but I'm so hyped that I, it's hard not to. <laughs> Tabernacle in my whole life on purpose. Really? Maybe on accident mixing, missing uh, Ali Bizu or something. That, I don't want to do that actually. So good until it ends. I was rolling hard. There you go. <laughs> 
done that in years. Now, Robert, you were the one who really skated these, yeah. and you have a lot more knowledge with Aeons that you've skated past and compared to the them skates you're skating now. What was your take on these skates? How do they feel? This was actually a really nice upgrade from my experiences before with Aeons because they actually fit. I felt like I had a lot more control. The response of these skates is really incredible. I think there's something really strong about having just one solid piece. You know, there's no separation between sole plate and frame. It's just really solid. And it's one of the most solid skates I've actually experienced because of this. And the Aeon is the only skate that has, to my knowledge, the one complete piece, one complete mold. I felt a lot of precision with my movements and the ability to um, really use my foot, the muscles in my feet to uh, control what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, you looked really smooth on these skates. Your tricks were pretty flawless compared to when we skated in Sherbrooke a couple <laughs> weeks ago on the them skates, which you skated for the first time uh -huh. uh, in that size. Uh -huh. You definitely looked a lot more comfortable on these Aeons. Yeah. They seemed more solid, and I know you thought the thems look big on your feet. These are bigger technically. They're 10 and a half, those are 9, 10, and these actually look smaller on your feet. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them I thought looked big, but they definitely looked good on you. They looked like a fitting skate. So aesthetically, everything came together. Trick-wise, I mean, it's been a while since you skated, but yeah. did you have any trouble with any certain tricks with these skates, or did any tricks feel easier? Uh, you know, trick-wise, I can't say that I was on the low maxes level, but going into my basic vocabulary uh, was really nice, and I didn't feel any problems. Well, except for on the ledge doing the forward Macchio, but I think that was the ledge's consistency in the slide. Almost every single trick that I tried, I did first try. Yeah, um, it was impressive. So that was really nice. And that wasn't happening with my first attempt on the thems. It was just for me really coming back to something my body was comfortable with. Um, and I like these skates. I, I like the feel of these, these Aeons. Just the one piece mold, like I said, I really like. Do you think you're gonna try to get a pair of these for yourself? Yes, yes. Yeah, so the verdict is good skate. Robert's stoked on him. Yeah. He's a, you know, professional product tester. <laughs> <laughs> Knows what he's talking about. So the one thing we were undecided on is this piece here, I would prefer a buckle or a strap right there for the 45 degree. Yes, I would. I think I would want to switch it out with the strap would be my only uh, kind of change. And also, I think I would really like to try the 72 millimeter wheel Aeon now that I'm getting the feel for Aeons again because I like the speed of the 72 millimeter and I don't have a problem with the wheel size, so I want to roll maximum wheel size when I'm skating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. At all times. You're rolling pretty smooth too on these, so I could mm -hmm. see on the 72, mm -hmm. you could really fly yeah. and hit those tricks at Broskow speed. <laughs> yes, yes. Cool, so yeah, I think the verdict is that these are awesome skates. Then now blading approved, Robert Gurr approved. I will definitely, <laughs> I'm ashamed of my blading game right now, so I'm definitely gonna get back on the skates ASAP. I'm gonna be in Boston this week. I'm gonna try to come back here before Robert leaves and actually do some tricks. Uh, believe it or not, I used to be able to do tricks. Now I feel like, uh, sad. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. I have a link to my social media in the description below. I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you enjoy this channel, consider becoming a Patreon supporter and I have a donation link in, in the description below as well if you want to go that route. Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you, Robert, for being part of this video. I look forward to maybe making a couple more with you before you go off to Europe and start hanging out with Carlino and Merrick and all those cool cats uh -huh. out there. Take care.
Don't stop skating. That's right. Ever. Aeon 60s.